afternoon, my name is Casey Hadel, and today we are going to be journeying to meet our spirit guides. There are all sorts of different types of guides that we have, but today we are going to focus on the uh, team of guides that work with us on a daily basis. A lot of times we will have different spirit guides that come into our life for one standard purpose and then leave our lives to carry on to help someone else. But we do also have our guides that stay with us our entire life. And those guides are the guides that we are going to try to uh, meet today during our meditation. And so if you don't believe in spirit guides, then it's almost impossible to meet your spirit guide because you don't believe in it. So the first step is to believing that spirit guides exist. Uh, Spirit guides can basically be all sorts of different colors. A lot of them will be blue or purple. Our main guides are usually purple in color or higher vibratory white. Um, there are no rules. They're basically, they're gonna be all sorts of different colors. Usually the color applies to the level of the guide being a higher main guide um, that has ascended for many lifetimes or a lot of our guides have not even lived on this earth. They have lived in different planets. Um, they are Pleiadian guides. They're Arcturian guides. Um, a lot of times, you know, some of our guides will be people that we experienced past lives with that have ascended and come forward to you in this life to guide you along your way. Uh, sometimes, Past loved ones will act as our guides as well. I don't consider those our spirit guides. I consider those our, our loved one guides, basically to help us <clears throat> um, direct us in the right manner that we need to be in. Uh, for me, I have several different types of guides, uh, several different types of elemental guides, and they have changed for many times throughout the year. Um, I can remember my first main guide was a Native American guide. He was a chief with long, dark, black hair, many different feathers. Um, I used to see him on a daily basis. I do not see him anymore. I see several different types of guides, and especially with this energy that is out there right now, um, I've been working with a guide. Uh, the scarab beetle has come forward, showing me a different direction. Um, in this lifetime, uh, I have a Pleiadian guide that has come forward. And, and sometimes I don't always know if they're Pleiadian or if they're Elfin. There's all sorts of different types of guides out there. Um, you can always ask your guide if he has something or her that or it would like you to speak to call them. A lot of times they don't have a name. They'll just make up a name or say whatever name that you say that you want to call them is, yeah, that's correct. Just because they don't work in that type of realm. They don't um, go by certain names. But as we humans, we like to have a name that goes with a face. Uh, sometimes when we see our guides or feel our guides, you know, we're, it's going to be a different modality. So you might just see the color. Uh, you might actually see what they look like. You might just feel them and know they're there. They might give you a, a trigger to let you know they're there by putting, you know, hand on your shoulder it feels warm anytime that they're around uh, anytime you feel worried they'll they usually let you know that they're there so that way um, you know that you're not alone you're being loved and guided by by your spiritual team and a lot of times there'll be just one particular guide that you have that is working with you to create something that you're trying to bring forward in your life or maybe it's a guy that is trying to help you get into better healthy eating habits. Uh, I know this seems silly, but we need all sorts of different types of guides for different things. So with that being said, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. As I know, we're kind of moving fast through the intro here, but I really want to get to the meditation because the meditation is where we experience our guides ourselves. And when we can experience our guides ourselves, if we have or have not experienced them before, uh, it allows that realness to come forward to help us to access that higher knowledge that we're seeking or um, <clears throat> maybe a question that we're looking for an answer to. 
So I want you to think of all those things that come forward in your mind that you may be uh, questioning right now. And as we journey to meet our most relevant guide at this point in time, I would ask you to go ahead and close your eyes and find your center. Because when we find our center, we're allowed to find ourselves, our team, and our place here in this world. So let's go ahead and open this meditation by taking several deep breaths. And what I want you to say to yourself when you're taking these deep breaths is breathing in and breathing out. And just keep saying that over and over again in your mind. Breathing in, breathing out. And let your breath carry you deeper and deeper to the most wonderful place you wish to reach all day long. So let's say again, breathing in, breathing out. And just keep saying that over and over again in your mind. Breathing in, breathing out. And as your breath begins to relax, your body begins to relax. And as your body begins to relax, your soul begins to relax. And allow that relaxation to begin at your left big toe, working its way down to each individual toe, turning loose, easing off and relaxing now. And as your toes begin to relax, allow that relaxation to continue on back into the foot, back into the heel, and all the way back into the calf muscle, allowing the muscles to grow loose, limp and lazy, relaxing now. And allow that relaxation continue on back into the knee, 
and back into the quadricep and hamstring. Relaxing now. And allow that relaxation to continue. Moving on over to the right big toe and working its way down to each individual toe. Turning loose, easing off and relaxing now. And just let any sounds that you hear in the background take you deeper and deeper to the most wonderful place you wish to reach all day long. And allow that relaxation to continue on back into the ball of the foot, back into the arch, all the way back into the heel, turning loose, easing off and relaxing now.
and allow that relaxation to continue on back into the calf muscle, back into the knee, all the way back into the hamstring and quadricep, turning loose, easing off and relaxing now. And just let any sounds that you hear in the background take you deeper and deeper to the most wonderful place you wish to reach all day long. And allow that relaxation to continue up into the stomach, the nervous center of the body, allowing the muscles to grow rested, relaxed, and allowing that relaxation continue from the stomach all the way up into each different rib, allowing the muscles to grow loose, limp and lazy, turning loose, easing off and relaxing now.
And as you move up each different rib muscle, move all the way up into the heart, feeling the steady rhythmic beat, just like it is every night before bed. Slow and methodical, winding down, turning loose, easing off and relaxing now. And allow that relaxation to continue on up into the arms, going down each individual arm, from the bicep to the forearm, and each individual finger. Allowing the muscles to grow loose, limp and lazy, relaxing now. Now that both of the arms are relaxed, allow that relaxation to move back into the neck, back into the face, allowing the jaw to part slightly, all the way up, down and around the ears and up across the forehead, allowing the muscles to grow loose, limp and lazy, Relaxing now.
and allow that relaxation to continue on down, back across the top of the head, down to the back of the neck, across the shoulders, and slowly moving down into each vertebra, all the way down into the sacrum, taking your time to allow each muscle attached to the spine to grow loose, limp, and lazy. Relaxing now. And now that your entire body is relaxed, just know you can return to this point of relaxation anytime you like, just by saying these three little words. Purple, purple, purple. And you will return right back to this point of total relaxation. And I'm going to begin to count down from the number 10 down to the number one. And when I reach the number one, you'll be in the most wonderful place you wish to reach all day long. 10, allowing yourself to grow deeper and deeper in a total relaxation. Nine, going down deeper and deeper towards that most wonderful place. Eight, allowing each number to carry you further into relaxation. Seven, going down deeper and deeper, feeling your body and soul relaxing now. Six, five, four, three, going down deeper and deeper in the total relaxation. Two, one, you are totally relaxed. And I want you to imagine you're standing at the beginning of a trail. It could be a dirt trail or concrete, maybe even a golden pathway. Whatever it is, this is your trail. So allow your mind to paint the picture. There may be trees, or tall grasses on the right and left. Various different colors of flowers that line the trail. Imagine the clouds and the wonderful warm sunshine that shine 
above the top of your head. There's a sweet smell that travels upon the breeze, carrying you into the most wonderful place you wish to reach all day long. So go ahead and make your way down the trail, observing the flowers and the grass, maybe even small animals that scurry about on the trail, feeling totally safe, totally calm here in this moment. Allowing your curiosity to carry you down the trail, wondering where it might lead. So go ahead, make your way towards the most wonderful place. Enjoying every step you take. And as you continue walking on the trail, you begin to notice a shiny object in the distance. It looks to be about four feet tall with luminescent colors of purple and silver and gold. And as you draw nearer, you notice that it is a gate. The most wonderful gate you have ever seen. The shining sunlight gleaming off the wonderful reflection draws you nearer towards the gate. So go ahead and continue towards the gate.
And as when you finally reach the gate, go ahead and nod your head one time, letting me know that you're there. And as you look down at the handle of the gate, you notice two initials etched on the handle. These are your initials. This is your gate. And as you peer inside, you notice the most beautiful garden you have ever seen. So go ahead and paint the picture as you stand outside of the gate. The gleaming colors of the gate that surround the garden. The beautiful flowers and bushes, maybe trees and grasses inside of the garden. Your initials called upon the handle of the gate. And as you place your hand upon the handle of the gate, a most wonderful purple mist begins to exude from around the garden area. And I'm going to begin to count down from the number three down to the number one. And when I reach the number one, you're going to step forward through the gate into the most wonderful garden you have ever seen. Three. Pushing the lever of the gate down. Two. Stepping forward through the mist, pushing through the purple mist. One stepping through the gate and shutting it behind you. And as you walk through the mist, you begin to notice a familiar feeling. You observe the flowers that you can see as you step through the mist yellows and greens and purples, every color of the rainbow. And at the back of the garden, you see a bench. And as you observe this bench, you notice someone is waiting for you. So go ahead and make your way to the bench. And back at the bench, this is your spirit guide. Maybe just one or maybe several of them waiting for you. And as you draw closer, their appearances become clearer and clearer. Bringing a familiarity and comfort and trust to you.
And sitting there on the bench, your spirit guide has a small chest waiting for you. And inside this chest is a message for you. So allow yourself to open up this small chest and receive this message or gift from your spirit guide now. and allow yourself to receive the final message and gift from your spiritual guides. And once you feel this is complete, send them love and thanks and appreciation. Bidding adieu knowing that you can access them anytime and come back to this wonderful place just by saying these three little words. Purple, purple, purple. And go ahead and make your way back towards the gate.
opening the gate and stepping back through onto the pathway. Keeping your spiritual body safe and secure by shutting the gate behind you. And I'm going to begin to count up from the number one to the number five. And when I reach the number five, you'll be totally alive, totally awake, here in this moment. One. Coming back into your body, allowing your base chakra to grow deep down into the earth, grounding back down here. Two. Becoming more alive, more aware, more awake here in this moment. Three, anchoring your soul and your spirit back into your body, wiggling your hands and toes so you know you're back here on earth. Four, opening your eyes, wiggling your hands and coming back now here in this moment. Five, you are awake. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your experience. And just know to allow the messages you receive to be exactly that. Do not question. Know that it is real. That is your real version of your spiritual team. The first step into Knowing your spirit guide is trusting the messages that you are receiving. Always, if they are very fearful messages, just know that is the ego. Allow your spirit team to come forward and communicate with you on a daily basis. And if your spiritual team seems completely out of this world, just know that they are. And that is the normal for spirit guides. They can be just like a normal person, as well as just a beam of light, or an animal, or an angel, an alien, several different types of beings. Just know that the messages you received were the messages that you needed. And if you did not have an experience, maybe you just needed more time, or you were just not ready for the messages to be received. I hope you enjoyed your time, and once again, my name is Casey Hadel, and I am a psychic medium, a hypnotherapist, horticulturist, and prana yogi, helping you to find yourself. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.